Well, we're almost done with this first episode. Just a couple of more things to do before we export a copy of this program. Uh, I see a couple of spikes up here in my audio where I was talking. So I may want to uh, increase the volume of the, the recording. So a, a way to increase this volume and have Audacity help me do it is to highlight the part that I want to increase the volume and under effects there's an amplify setting. Now this can be confusing at first because when you select um, part of your audio and go to effects and amplify this little amplify tool has already measured the maximum the maximum setting. So this 1.7 is saying that the audio that I have selected I can increase it up to 1.7 the reason why it stopped at 1.7 is I don't want these waveforms to hit, hit the top and this one is pretty close to hitting the top so if I do OK right there you can see that one jumps up to the top but that was just a P or a T most likely so I may want to turn the volume down on just that one section and then I'll be able to turn the volume up on the whole um, on the whole piece that whole section there so I'm going to zoom in and once I zoom in enough, I can see that, and I might listen to it, it was actually a T, the end of the word out. So all I want to do, I don't want to delete it, because that would sound funny. I'm just going to go and select it like that, and again, go to Effect, Amplify, and the Amplify tool will also decrease the volume. So I'm just going to turn this down, get a negative number here, to sort of eyeball it, and I can say OK and you can see uh, it shrunk down quite a bit I want it didn't it didn't change too much how it sounded it's, I still can hear the whole word about now you can see these waveforms none of them are very close to the top so now I could select them go up to effect amplify and you can see now it's saying hey you can amplify this up to 3.8 before one of these waveforms hits the top and that might be enough I'm gonna say okay and there it goes you can see that one right there hit the top and that would be the the next one. So now I just want to listen to it. Now what I'm looking at is that is as that is playing is these uh, is the level meter here at the top. So you can see while that's playing my green bars are almost to the top which is what I want. I want my I want to have full volume and then the person listening to this can adjust the output volume on their computer. Um, but if I make this too soft, then if they, they may not be able to turn up their volume enough to really hear it well. Okay, so let's do these, this other clip. So I come down here, let me zoom out a bit so I can um, see the whole thing. This is sort of my content clip. Okay, so this one right here, and I can tell this one's probably going to be the problem, but if I highlight it and go to Effect, and amplify it says oh I can only turn this up to 1.9 before one of these hits or clips say okay there it goes now I might want to turn that up some more so it's closer to this one so I'm going to zoom in find that one that's peaking or that's clipping that little spot there I might listen to it to hear what it is it's a T I say tool right there so I'm just going to highlight it and I'm just going to use this amplify again to turn that down a bit don't have to turn it down too much. Okay, now it's turned down and it's still there. So the T in tool I can still hear. Now I can highlight the whole clip, go to effect, amplify, and it says you can take it up to 3.9. That should be plenty. And when I look at these two pieces together, they seem pretty good. And I'd probably want to listen to it. Um, and I would do the same thing here to the end. This one probably. Um, effect amplify it says it will go up to seven uh, might be too loud um, okay click OK and again I'm just kind of eyeballing this just by size of waveform and that looks like it'll be about right okay so now I've fine-tuned it um, then I'm ready to export this out as an mp3 file so in audacity um, audacity has the capability to export I'm gonna export the whole thing and it wants me to put a little bit of information in so I'm going to put in the artist that would be me 
Okay, the the uh, track title that would be episode. So this would be maybe episode one. Um, what was it about um, thermometers? Now I got to spell thermometer. Okay, thermometer, and the album title might be something like um, Tim's podcast. So I can add a little bit of. Uh, information here when I export this out. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK and Audacity is ready to make this an MP3 file. So I might name this, uh, so this is episode number one, oops, number one of um, Tim's podcast. Okay. And I'd like it to make sure I have it in a place where I can find it later. So I'm here on the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder for Tim's podcasts just to hold these MP3 files. All right. And when I click um, open and then save, Audacity is going to mix this down. Now, the first time you use Audacity, it needs to know where this. Um, this little DLL is. It's the ability that it has to create an MP3. Now, Audacity does not come with this ability. Um, I think there's some copyright issues here, but you can add this capability into Audacity. So, when I downloaded Audacity, I also downloaded this um, DLL file. It's an LAM underscore ENC dot DLL, and I already put it on my computer, and it should already be on your computers. If not, um, when you down when you go to Audacity's homepage just by searching for Audacity in Google. Um, you can read the instructions on how to get this LAM um, set up. So I'm gonna, I just need to tell Audacity where it is. I only need to do that one time. So I'm going to browse. I put this here under, I believe, in my documents. Okay, there's the DLL. And I'm just going to open that and say OK. And now Audacity is creating this podcast or exporting it out as an MP3 file. So that LAME um, encoder, I only have to tell Audacity where that is one time. And then I don't want to move that DLL file because Audacity will be looking to that same spot to use to, to, to take advantage of that capability. Um, I don't, so if I don't move anything around, the next time I use Audacity, I'll be able to record, do all of this, and export again as an MP3. Okay, so that um, got exported out. Um, so I got an MP3 copy out. Now I haven't saved this project yet, so I might want to do that as I'm working. I kind of forgot. I'm going to go to File, Save Project, okay, and it's going to make an AUP file. Let's say OK, and it's going to let me decide where to put it. So I think I have those. Um, I've got a folder on the desktop where I put my finished product. So inside of here, I might make a folder for um, AUPs, and the reason why I might want this folder and that I want this AUP that if I needed to come back and do a little bit more editing on this project I could open the AUP file and I could continue to edit. The MP3 I can't open that back up. I mean I could bring the MP3 back into Audacity but then I would be re-editing it. It would all be one track. So the AUP file is important um, and here's what we've got now out on the desktop in that folder Okay, I've got a folder down here. Let me just get over to it for Tim's podcast. When I open that up, there's the finished MP3 file right there. And you can see there's the little bit of information I put in. I should have changed the uh, number here. I think I still can at this point. Um, but there's my finished MP3 file. I've got a folder in there with the AUPs in it. So there is um, that AUP file that if I wanted to do a little more work on this tomorrow, I could come back and keep editing, editing it, or if I wanted to add more to it. So that is the basics of how to use Audacity to record, edit, and produce uh, an episode of a podcast.